One question that I seem to get an awful lot is, can you run a subwoofer with the Evolve 50s or really any type of these compact column arrays? I've never personally done it, but yeah, I guess you could. And the way you'd hook it up would be the exact same way that you hooked a subwoofer up to any other two-way top cabinet. You would simply run your line ends from your mixing board into the subwoofer left and right or input one and input two and then for your outputs you would run those to your Evolve 50s. Really pretty simple. Now on this particular setup the subwoofer has a low pass filter that you can set. I would set that at 100 Hertz. That's the default for the subwoofer. Some subwoofers have a high pass filter output option. This subwoofer doesn't seem to have it. This is the EKX 15SP from Electro Voice. Some subwoofers do, some don't. I have one under the desk here in the studio. I call it Diablo. This is the FPT Subline 1112SA. This has high pass filter out and through options. And this thing can knock the house down. Now the reason I bring that up is because the Evolve 50s do not have a high pass filter option. They're running full range all the time. So what I was thinking was, if the subwoofer had the high pass filter output option, we could kind of turn these little subs on the Evolve 50s into these really mean mid bass machines. But you can't do that with this particular setup. If you had a sub with that high pass filter output, you could, but not with this one. But the good news is, even with this particular setup, with this subwoofer, I think you'd be okay because I run these Evolve 50s all day long with an output signal on my mixing board of maximum 0 dB. And then I run the speakers at anywhere from 0 dB to plus 2, plus 3 dB in a pinch. Usually it's 0 dB and there's never any distortion. There's never a problem. So even though you can't run that high pass filter, it should be okay. But anyway, quick video for you. I hope it helps somebody. We'll see you next time. Practice and enjoy.